What's up guys? I'm Cap and I'm going to go over a bunch of pillar skips. We're going to do item combinations. We're going to do survivor techs. But before that, let's get into a couple of things that we need to know beforehand. For simplicity, I did only use goat hooves and soldier syringes for my attack speed and normal speed. So here's a comparison between the movement items. We have goat hoof, energy drink, mocha, and red whip. Alright, for the attack speed items, we have Mocha, Soldier Syringe, Gorax, Opus, and Warhorn. Pretty much what you're going to do is, whatever I have for each skip, just add up the percentages and see how much of each you need, depending on what items you have. Alright, so let's start by going over some important locations around the map that we're going to be using throughout the video. First, we got the jump point that we use for Stomper and Quail Jumping. It'll be near the Shrine of Order, above the Mass Pillars, it'll be right here. And yeah, we'll use that little piece, especially on the right side is the best, to get some cool hill jumps going. Next we got the ramp that we use to Whirlwind up with Merc. We'll use this ramp right here. And then there's a resting point just on the trunk that we'll be using also for like merc skips, hunter skips, and all that, so it'll be right there. And then lastly, here's the ramp that we use for Railgunner, because it has the lowest point up on the branches in order for Railgunner to get up. And that should be it for the important locations on the map. I'll be popping in and out of the video if there's anything I feel like I need to explain a little bit more. But other than that, enjoy.
Note that Artie's Ion Surge does scale with movement speed, that's why I gave myself those hooves. Just to speed up the process a little bit, you don't need them at all for the scoop. Quick note for the loader skip is that if you are using charge punch, make sure you are fully charging it. It's gonna give you more height than just a quick charge one. So keep that in mind.
Alright, from here on out, the rest of the skips are going to be DLC content. I'll indicate it in the left top corner by then the icon up there. Alright, three things to keep in mind during the Void Fiend skip. First, you're going to have to constantly spam Suppress, the R skill. What this is going to do is keep your Corruption Meter low. If you if your Corruption Meter does reach 100%, your pillar skip is kind of messed up. In Corrupted Mode, you have no vertical movement with your shift. Second, Charge your M2 as much as possible. Usually charge it before going into Trespass. It does charge during Trespass. And what you're going to want to do is release your M2 downwards right when you exit Trespass, and that'll give you a boost upwards. Third is going to be make sure you're sprinting while using Trespass, your shift. This will give you actually more vertical height because it does scale with speed, including sprint speed. couple things about Railgunner's pillar skips. Um, first, the mine. You can only have one active at a time. What that means is that if you have two charges of the mine and use them both at this at about the same time, the first one's actually going to explode right when you use the second one, and that's going to be the tech that we're using for 
the skip for basically all of them. Also remember to constantly hold M1. The M1 does have a knockback, so it will help with the skip. Just to quickly explain what's going on here, I did give myself FMP with Soulbound so I can just constantly press Q in order to activate my equipment. And I'm using Bottled Chaos and farming for an eccentric vase and that's going to be our way to skip up there. Make sure to note that Merc's default loadout and accurate skip can and have been done with no items, but it's pretty tricky. Uh, for more accessibility, I've shown them with enough speed to make it a nice, comfortable skip. I highly encourage all of you to find new and better ways to pillar skip. Come in the comments, let me know what you find. And that's it. I'll leave a comment if I missed anything, and you can watch me live on Twitch in the description below. Peace out, guys.